<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to WD18, the Watford fan channel for another latest Watford transfer news video. They're coming, as I said, all the time at the moment. All the rumours that are coming in and out of Watford Football Club. A lot, a lot to talk about today. I think the most so far um, since we've started, since the uh, January transfer window opened. Um, and the big one that's just been released in the last hour or so is that Maxwell Corne, um has been linked with a move to Watford. The Ivorian winger from Leon has been linked with a move to Watford. So we'll start with that one. Um, but before we do get into the news, Troy Deeney has been charged by the FA following his post-match comments about referee David Coote after the 3-3 draw against Bournemouth. I won't touch upon it for too long, but I think it's absolutely incredible that Troy Deeney gets charged and Charlie Austin didn't for his post-match th uh, thoughts after the Watford 2, Southampton 2 game. Um, you know, I just cannot get my head around why. D if, you, if you're going to charge one of them, charge both. If you're not going to charge one of them, then don't charge the other. Um, and I thought Charlie Austin's were... Well, far worse than Deeney. Deeney was just saying he bottled it. I can understand where the FA are coming from, but at the same time, you can't then charge Char Charlie Austin. Um, you have to do that as well. So it was very poor from the FA. But we won't um, contemplate on that for that one for too long. But hopefully Troy Deeney doesn't get suspended. I think it will probably just be a fine. Moving on to the Maxwell Cornet rumours. So the big one coming out of Le Keep is that Watford have made an approach for Leon winger Maxwell Cornet. Watford gave uh, have informed Leon that they would be willing to meet the 20 million euro asking price for the winger. AC Milan are also pursuing the Ivorian winger. His agent has met Milan representatives on several occasions to get a deal over the line, but Watford are the, out of the two clubs are willing to pay that fee of 20 million euros. As I said, this is according to Le Keep, um, France's nationwide sports newspaper. Um, Cornet's contract is uh, until June 2021. Um, so, you know, it, another season will be entering to kind of the last 18 months or so of his contract, last 12 months next season. Um, so, they may be looking to get a deal over the line. It's kind of a mixed split between the Leon fan base. Some of them are saying it'd be great to get him, get him out, and some are saying don't sell him. Um, but apparently, the promise of increased playing time and a considerable salary on offer from Watford could make him think. What do I think about this one? Well, Stat Pack says he's a 22-year-old winger, started off his career at Mets, moved to Leon, has now made 137 appearances for the French side, scoring 29 goals in all competitions from the flanks, played in France's youth side, um, but now he's an Ivorian international, as I mentioned, six appearances, two goals, Campay both on the left and the right wing, likes to cut inside, um, his strengths are dribbling, etc. Um, typical winger, Apparently, he does keep hold of the ball for a bit too long. Um, and at times, you know, he does give the ball away. But could this be a sign of a replacement for Roberto Pereira? We'll have to wait and see, see how that one progresses. But the signs that Watford are going to put in a bid of €20 million Euros to meet Leon's uh, asking price for Maxwell Cornet. So we'll see how that one progresses. But it seems like there's a lot of truth behind that one. The fact it's been reported like Le Keep, they're arguably France's most reliable uh, newspapers nationwide. This man, you know, he's playing he's playing European competitions for Leon, the Euro likes the Europa League. He's done pretty well um, in the domestic competitions as well. And he's rated highly and he's young, he's only 22 years of age. So th could this be the replace for Roberto Pereira? We'll have to wait and see. We'll go on to Roberto Pereira a little bit later on. Um, a man who, oh, you could you say a boy who's joined Watford Football Club, and that's Philip Stuperevic. Um, he's a 18-year-old striker. Um, he's signed from FC Voz Duvac, uh, the Serbian Super League aside. Um, and they've confirmed that Philip Superrevic has joined Watford. A bit of a, bit of a mouthful. Um, so the 18-year-old striker signed on a four-year deal and now spend the next six months on loan at the Serbian side. Um, the strikers attracted a number of interests from a lot of European sides. Um, he became the youngest debutant in Serbian football history and has since gone on to make 57 appearances for Vozdovac over the past two seasons, um, registering six goals and five assists in the process. So it's clear that Watford's scouting system has come to fruition again. Um, someone who's been highly rated by a number of European clubs. Um, we've tied his services down to a four-year deal. We'll spend the next six months on loan, which will hopefully um, it kind of uh, you know speed up 
with his improvements and, and continue his progress um, at Voz Dovac. Um, but that's Filip Stuperevic. He signed. He's an 18-year-old striker. So that's one for the future. Make sure you look out for that one. But that's been confirmed by the Serbian Superliga side. Moving on to Roberto Pereira. The saga continues. Roberto Pereira is a man who's been touted by Torino, been touted by former Watford head coach Walter Mazzari. Um, and Tuto Sport, the, the the media outlet that have been reporting this this deal and have really been the main the main outlet for for all these rumours, and I believe they will continue to until the January transfer window ends and we go on to the summer as well. They've been in contact with Roberto Pereira's agent. Um, and been speaking to him about Pereira's potential moves. N I'm likely in this January, but more in the summer. I've got a few quotes here. So he's, he kicked it off. They've asked him a question about uh, which clubs like him. And he, they, he said, Mazzari, Torino, and, and Sari likes him. Roberto has great esteem for Walter Mazzari because he's a sincere man. He's moved to the Premier League from Juventus because of Mazzari in, in 2016. Did Mazzari want him at Torino last summer? He replies, yes. There were talks, but Watford's demands were excessive. A transfer in January, he was asked. You can never say never in the market, but I don't think it will happen. So that kind of quashes that rumour. But Chelsea tried without success, according to Pereira's agent. He went on to say, it would amaze me if Torino didn't try again this summer. We must listen to Maxi's, desires his nickname, um, Watford's plans and incoming offers. He wants to go back to playing in Europe, possibly in the Champions League. Now, that last line is probably the one that sticks out out all those quotes. Um, he wants to go back to playing in Europe, possibly in the Champions League. I think a decisive factor for this move is whether Watford do secure that 7th Europa League spot. Um, and Roberto Ferreira feels Watford have the chance of, ach of achieving European success. I'm not saying we're going to, if we went in it, we'd win it, but do quite well in the competition and do well in the group stage, etc., and get through the qualifying rounds. Or does he think his preferences lie elsewhere? Now, Torino are also pushing for Europa League. I think that would be a move backwards for Roberto Pereira. I think if he was going to move from Watford, he must be guaranteed Europa League football. So I think that's a massive factor. And as he's mentioned, and his agent has mentioned, that's a that's a crucial crucial factor of this deal. Um, it's clear Walter Mazzari likes him. We know since the January transfer window is open that Torino have been interested in him, and we also know from I think it was the Daily Mirror that um, yeah Maurizio Sarri um, has taken a fancy to Roberto Pereira and was looking to to bring him in um, as a replace for Eden Hazard. I don't think it would have been that. He probably would have been backup, but he's been a fan of him. Um, when obviously he was working at Napoli and probably Pereira was at Juventus. He's seen a lot of him and Mazzari uh, seen a lot of him as well working in Syria. So we'll have to see how this one progresses. I believe these these rumours about Pereira will be coming out daily from now on to the end of the January transfer window. It might even be that's a pre-contract agreement that he joins Torino at the end of the at the end of the season in the summer, in the summer transfer window. But we'll just have to wait and see. But those quotes suggest to me that Roberto Pereira is seriously considering a move out of Watford Football Club. Where to? It looks most likely that's going to be Serie A. He's taken a liking to Turin since the time he's at Juventus. Torino are based in Turin. It seems as if if Torino get Europa League, I think that's nailed on that he'll be joining, especially from the quotes from the agent. So we'll have to see how that one progresses, as I said. But yeah, it's, it's looking very lucky that Pereira will be out the door in the summer, not in January. That's a big thing to take out of that. A loanee that's gone out is Marvin Ziegler. Um... I mean, what do you say? I, I couldn't really care less. Him and uh, Stefano Kaka have joined each other at Udinese or Watford B team and the other uh, Pozzo own club. So Deadwood, that leaves a couple of uh, gaps in the Watford squad. So maybe that is a chance for us to fill a couple of those spaces up. Before we end the episode, let's have take a look at the, trans, uh, the comment section of the transfer news video. Do, 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 do. Hello everyone. Match ban apparently. Oh, that could be a big blow for uh, Troy Deeney. Corday the Hornet. I Jake think it will. Who do? What do you reckon about Garlo coming back? Now this has been rumoured by Sky Sports News. They've been in contact with um, Odiene Garlo about potentially uh, returning to the Premier League. He said that's his preferred destination. I don't think he will join Watford. Would I want him to join Watford? <sighs> I don't, I, I don't, uh, I love Odin Nogalo, but I wouldn't want him to join back 
to Watford. I think it would be a step backwards. I'd maybe take him on a six-month contract, but nothing more than that. Really, nothing more than that. I think if it wasn't for sentimental values, um, then none of us would be wanting <laughs> Odin Nogalo to come back, if I'm really honest. Obviously, he had that brilliant start to the 2015-16 campaign, but I just don't think he's the same player Um and I think he's kind of desperate for a move. It comes across like that anyway. So I'll see how that one progresses. Hope Bobby doesn't leave. I hope he doesn't leave in January. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jelson. If we sign Cornet, where do you think he would play? Striker, as we could do one of those. Or do you think he would play out wide? I think he would play out wide. I think that's his preferred position. But I like the fact he can transition into a striker. So I think that's a good option for Watford. Watford always seems to go for players who are versatile. We look at the likes of Gerald Delafoe, who's kind of be converted into a striker, um, which is quite interesting because I think that would have been on the Pozzo's mind that he can play in a different position, not just on the wing. Um, so I think he could kind of rotate in that role. And if it really does depend on Roberto Pereira, if it, I know it's nothing concrete yet, but if Roberto Pereira does leave, I think Maxwell Corner will be put onto the left-hand side. If he stays, maybe Maxwell Corner may be shifted up front and Delafoe's put out to the right. And Ken Sem is put on the bench. There's a lot of options for Javi. Um, so that's the good thing about this deal. Right, I think that's about it. Let's read a couple of more comments from you guys. Do, 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 get a Galo back, fair enough. We do need a centre-back desperately. I completely agree with that. Jacob, what centre-back do you want to get? I wouldn't mind. I know we've been linked with Ranocchia. I think he'd be a good addition for us. The problem with Gerald is he's too inconsistent. True, if they're both fit, which two of Cabot, Cathcart and Maps would you choose? The two fit I would choose is Cabra and Cathcart, but I would like someone to either partner Cabasale or Cathcart to ever have his preference. Um, I think it, someone made a really good point. Igalo to Fulham or Cardiff. I think that's a very, very good shout. So that's another episode of the Watford FC Transfer News. Make sure you check out our match preview of the Palace game this coming Saturday. Tomorrow, um, big, big game for Watford. So we'll look forward to that tomorrow. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel up here. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to put it down in the comment section below. In the live chat, what do you make of all the rumours? The Maxwell Cornet and the Philip Stuperovich um, from FK Vozod... Vo Vo oh, it's a, it's a, let me just read this out. Philip Stuperovich from FK Vozdovac, the Serbian Super League side. Let me know what you make of that. Is that just one for the future? Is that one you could see maybe coming into the first team? Let me know down in the comment section below and what Roberto Pereira's agent has that to say. Don't worry about the Marvin Ziegler one. We all don't care. We'll see you tomorrow for the match preview. Thank you very much for watching and common you on it.